G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go out and play round two of the Pro Tour this week, which is the Valero Texas Open. It's at San Antonio Golf and Country Club. Now, I have not been uploading a lot of Pro Tour events recently. I've been super busy, and these rounds take a long time to edit. And it got to the point where the, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. So what I thought about doing is potentially live streaming my pro tour events. This one obviously isn't live streamed, but I'm thinking about potentially live streaming them all in the future if people are interested. If you are interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know, like this video, because these videos don't really get a lot of views. And so that's why I've kind of stopped putting them out there. Now, the other thing I've got a caveat also saying, I haven't been playing a lot of golf recently. I do play the, the rounds where I show, um, you know, courses off on GS Pro, but I'm not doing a lot of practice. And as such, I haven't been playing in the Pro Tours. I've slipped down the world rankings. The game doesn't feel great at the moment. So what I thought about doing as well is doing a series where I actually show you how I get my game back on the rails and how I climb back up the world rankings, potentially take, making it to that number one spot. I've got up to world number three in the rankings. That's the highest I've ever climbed. But, you know, if people are interested in seeing a, a series where I show what I work on my game and then live streaming these Pro Tour rounds, trying to climb back up those world rankings, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Today, like I said, we're playing round two. So I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna select round two. It is the Valero Texas Open, San Antonio. Like I said, the game has not been great. So hopefully I can play some good golf today. We're gonna to see how we go. I am working on quite a few things in my swing at the moment. Off the yellow tee, Sunday pin, stint five, tiny bit of elevation, uh, stint 12, sorry. The order, the gimme's are five feet. So if it was stint five, we'd be in trouble. Fairways and greens are normal. It is calm wind. Force realistic is on. Let's go. Hopefully, we can have a good game today. Guys, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, and also join the Facebook group. Okay, hopefully today we can play some good golf. It has not been good recently. We'll see how we go. Okay, first hole, it's a par four, pretty straightforward par four, if I'm honest. We are off the back tees today, so it's playing a little bit longer. The first round was not good. I think I was about four under, I think, in the first round. So we've got a bit of work to do, but a nice drive down the middle would be quite nice on this hole. It's quite a long course, this course. Blocked it, oh no, stay left. Give me a shot to the green, please. Don't go behind that tree. Okay, we might have a shot to the green. I mean, ah, the swing does not feel great. What have we got left? 143 out of deep rough as well. I mean, let's just aim a little bit left. Aim for the middle of the green, play safe, 136. So realistically, the, the green's playing about 168 to the middle of the green just there. Um, I hope I'm gonna miss these trees. I'm just gonna hit an eight iron and see how we go. Sit. Oh, hello, what a shot. We will take that, lovely. I mean, it's pretty dead straight. 14 feet, let's knock this in, come on. Did I hit it? Yes, I did, come on, let's go. Okay, off to a good start, especially after being in the deep rough. Next hole is a par five. I'm just gonna try and sling it down just to the side of that bunker there and we'll try and reach this in two. It is a very, very long hole. Realistically, unless I hit a really good one, this is a three shot hole, so I may as well have an absolute swing at it. Just hit the roof, <laughs> no damage to the driver, and, um, Oh, we're just in the rough, typical. That's the issue with having low ceilings. All right, next shot. Let's see if we can get home in two. We are in the rough, which is annoying. Uh, 250, I'm gonna hit a five wood and just get it up by the green somewhere, hopefully. I generally don't hit the ceiling. 
unless my swing gets bad. So that's how I know I'm hitting it bad. All right, over that tree, get it up there by the green, come on. Get left. Not a bad shot, I should have aimed further left to be honest. Okay, not a bad shot. We can get it up and down from here. Five degree left slope, not ideal. And it is dead uphill to the pin. So I'm gonna try and carry this about 23 yards as a feel. Not a bad effort. I will take it. Okay, we're, we're getting our golf ball round. That's what we're doing. We're getting our golf ball round. It's not pretty golf. It doesn't feel good to me, but we're getting it round. 200 yards to the pin. I mean, I wanna land this around 190. It's gonna, I mean, this is risky, but it's either an easy five or an absolute flushed six when you're not swinging it good. Um, this is a tough decision. Let's hit a flush six. Risky, the risk meter just went up. I will use a T. And I mean, I'm gonna have to hit this really good. Nice draw into this hole. Oh no. Oh, I didn't hit it good. Praying. Oh, what a lucky shot. I did not think that was gonna get up. I tried to carry that 190, I carried it 183. Okay, fortune favors the brave. I mean, that was, that was lucky. That was lucky. Okay, fourth hole. It's a 470 yard par four. Oh man, work out. It's gonna be fine, kick left for me. Kick left, lovely. This is a tough hole. This green is seriously skinny and it's long. It's very deep. As you'll see, 168, very deep green. So, I mean, realistically, it's just a nice smooth eight iron. That's a shank. Oh man. I cannot remember the last time I hit a hosel rocket. When it doesn't feel good, just doesn't feel good. And now we've got 60 yards out of deep rough. I mean, honestly, we're just gonna have to get lucky. So 60 plus 12, we'll call it 15, let's call it 75. I'm just gonna hit a full lob. I'm gonna open the face, try and flop it. I tell you what, we're hitting the recovery shots. I <laughs> think we are hitting the recovery shots. I cannot remember the last time I hit a shank. I mean, it just does not feel good right now. Okay, onwards and upwards, let's go. We got uh, 300 yard par four, so this is reachable. Let's just hit a driver and we'll see how we go. I want to work out. Kick right. Oh, not the kicker we wanted, but it's not the worst leave. And the reason it's not the worst is because it is on an upslope. So I'm on an upslope, so this shouldn't be too bad. I should be able to just pop this up. Yes, it is short sided, but I'm on that massive upslope. So, I mean, as long as we get it out, we should be okay. 15 yards, so 18. I'm gonna play this about 23, 24 as a feel. I just didn't wanna leave it in the bunker. Come back, and I guess it's better to go long than to actually just leave it in the bunker. So we do have a putt now for birdie. It's downhill, left to right. Not a lot of break in it, to be honest. It'll break a bit at the start, and then it almost straightens up. So 15 feet as a feel. I think, let's just go a tiny bit more. That looks good. 15 feet as a feel, come on. Oh, I'm so glad I just inched it across to the left a little bit. Oh, thank you, Brainbox. Okay, four under. We're actually, we are getting our ball around. We've had a shank, 
We've had some pretty bad shots, but we are golfing our ball. And now we are on the sixth hole, which is a 400 yard par four. Let's just try and get one down the middle. Get left. Oh, I've blocked it in the bunker again. I was in there the first round. Hopefully, oh, that lip, that lip is just, I am on an upslope though, 10 degrees upslope. So that's gotta be at least a club. 130 yards, it's gonna come out left into wind. Tough shot now. Is it just a pitching wedge? I mean, if I hit nine, there's a potential I could go over the back of the green and be dead. If I hit pitching wedge, I'm definitely gonna clear that lip. And worst case, I should be short on the green with a long putt. So I'm just going to hit a pitching wedge because that's the percentage play. Oh, it's got to go. I've just lost so much distance. Okay, we're slowly getting the distance back. We're back into speed training, but it's been a long journey back since my neck injury. Um, all right, dead downhill putt. We have 38, 39 feet, downhill nine inches. So it's gonna play about 30 feet. That actually looks pretty good, I reckon. Come on, let's make a long putt. Come on. Oh, I didn't hit it. I did hit it. Come on, what a putt. Man, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm putting as good as Josh Oddie right now. This is nuts. I know how, he is seriously good putter. Um, also a fellow lab user. 175 uphill. So 180. Let's just hit a nice smooth seven. Don't cut. How's that 163? I mean, I've lost a lot of distance. Go! Here we go, this will be off the front edge now. Watch this. This will just keep rolling forever. Stop, stop. This is, cr oh, there we go, it did stop. Massive plateau there. Tough pin to get to, this one. We have 32 feet, but it's dead uphill. So it's 44, 47, 49. So it's about 50 feet. Look, can we make another part? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. I've never made this many parts. Oh, I mean, you know, you, this is what, like, if you're not hitting it good, there's always hope. You might just make every single part you look at. Doesn't happen very often though. Trust me. Um, okay. Par five, eighth hole. Let's hit driver. We'll bomb it down there. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Okay, give me a shot. Give me anything. Don't go behind that tree. What do we have? We've got a shot back to the fairway. Um, we are in deep rough. It's not great. If we could aim there, 199. So we could aim there and hit. What about the other fairway? Hang on. That opens up the flag as well. That is probably a little bit better to be honest. So let's go there, 183. I'll hit a five iron. Oh geez. Yep, the deep rough definitely got me because I hit that pretty good. Um, 205 is probably just another five iron to be honest. But at least I've opened up the pin now. Yeah, let's just hit a five iron. Hopefully get lucky, make another 50 footer. Oh, get left. Oh, the swing, the swing, the swing, the swing. Oh no. Oh, massive downslope, massive downslope. I mean, realistically, just hit this pass a pin and Try and make a putt. 20 yards. 
off a down slope, no green to work with. I do have a bit of a backstop. I may as well just try and throw it into that backstop. Come on, come back. Thought I was gonna hit the pin there. It's not a bad effort. From where we were, that's actually pretty good. We do have a putt for a par and it's makeable. The funny thing is with this lab putter, it's you just know this is going in. 15 feet, so 12 feet it's gonna play. It goes right and then comes back left. I might go a tiny bit more that way. So 15, so 12 feet as a feel. Lovely, 0.0 HLA. I mean, it's just so good. Ninth hole, par four, and it's another long one. So need to hit this driver half decent. Oh, Joe. Ah. Give me something. Deep rough. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so 211 yards. I mean, there's not a lot of hope for this. If I could miss it there, I guess that's gonna be an easier up and down than being left of the green. We'll be hitting back up at the pin. So I guess opens up a bit more room. So if I could hit like a, a low draw, it is out the deep rough though, isn't it? So got colliders. So I'm gonna have to keep it below these trees. So what I might do is hit, it's just such a hard shot. I'm gonna hit a three wood, try and hit like a trappy three wood, but I mean, out of deep rough, I don't think it's gonna get anywhere near the distance, especially with a low shot, but we'll see how we go. Oh man, just go. All right, we've left ourselves a wedge in, 57 yards to be exact going to come out right so if we could just land this about 50 to 52 that should be perfect let's see if we can keep saving pars right there come on be good come on what you'll notice with that shot is it wasn't a ridiculously right spin axis it was only a very slight right spin axis okay six under through nine I mean, let's just keep it going. Let's try and start hitting some better shots, but keep the score going. Tenth hole is a downhill par four. Quit it. Oh, Joe. Don't go in the deep rough, please. Kick. Ah. Oh. Okay, what have we got? 130, it's gonna come out dead right. The green does have a big slope left to right, which is good. So if we can land this about there, 123, gotta miss that tree though. 123 plus 26. So it's about 147, I actually have to hit this. So I'm just gonna hit a nine iron, nice smooth nine iron. Oh, you're kidding. It was actually gonna be perfect. But now, it's definitely not perfect. I've found myself needing another up and down. Out of the rough, 51 yards. Um, so if I can land this about, let's say 40, because it's gonna run out, it's not gonna have any spin. So if we land at 40, that should be perfect. Oh, sit. It's gonna work out. Oh! Okay, we're escaping. We are escaping. It's not pretty, but we're hacking it around. Okay, 11th hole, I do have bunkers there. So I'm just gonna aim left of the bunkers. 278, I might even run through the fairway, but you know what? I'm not hitting driver good, so let's just hit driver. Just try and hit it nice and easy. Okay, that's a nice smooth swing. Let's just keep doing that. Stay in the fairway. Stay in the fairway. 
Okay, just in the rough, but at least it was straight. That leaves us 95 in. It's gonna come out right, downwind, out of the rough. So realistically, if we land at 85, I do have an 87 shot. If we land it there, so it's about a 90 to 91 yard shot. That should be pretty good, I reckon. Sit, sit down for us. Okay, we should have a decent putt now. A little right to left seven footer. Lovely, okay. Come on, let's finish strong. Let's have a look where this hole goes. Pretty straight. Pin is tucked on the front. So let's try and hit a decent drive, actually hit a fairway and leave ourselves a wedge in. Get left. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. Stay. Lovely. 113, slightly uphill, 119. Tough little yardage. Let's, um, hmm, let's hit a nice smooth gappy. That should actually be quite a decent club for this. We just don't want to be short because I think anything short is going to roll off the front. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, so we've got to fly this just past the pin and spin it back. Go. How's that gone? I've lost so much distance. Go! Okay, phew. Worked out again. One of those rounds where you're not hitting it good, but the score is actually not too bad. Seven foot now, but a massive breaking part. Oh, how's that? That should be good, I think. Just a nice smooth stroke. Seven feet. Oh, Joe. Oh, it's like you make the long ones and then you miss a six footer. Like that is just not acceptable. I mean, it was just the wrong, wrong line or the wrong speed for that line, I guess I should say. Oh, that's so annoying. I've been doing that so much recently. Okay, 13th hole, let's get over it. Uh, 220, but downhill eight, so. Um, let's have a look where we want to land this. I think there's a ridge in this green. There is. So there's a massive ridge there. So, I mean, if we could land it around 210. Let's go 207 for the land point. And then it's down 8, so 200. So I want to carry this 200. It should just be a 5 iron. Nice, smooth 5. Get left. Just a, so much, like, loss of ball speed. Just nuts. Go! Don't roll off the green on me. That's a good shot. If that rolls off the green, I'm going to be devastated. Let's fast forward. That's going to roll off the green. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, we got seven yards, or 6.6 .6 yards. So let's go 21 feet, um, 20, call it 26 feet because we're uphill. So 26 feet, it's gonna come off the club right. And then also it's breaking left to right. So it's gonna go a fair bit. Let's aim there. I will club down to go to putter. That'll put the Iron Mini in putting mode. And let's just play this 26 feet as a feel. I didn't hit it. That was silly. All right, speed, it's speed. I need to work on speed. 14th hole, par five. It is reachable, even for me, the way I'm hitting it. Let's just aim straight down the middle. We'll chop a little bit of the corner off. Let's go there, we'll hit a good drive. Come on. That's better. A lovely swing. A bit spinny, but that's going to be just fine. Down the middle. Lovely. And we're in range now as well, which is good. 240, downhill five. Where do we want to land it? I mean, this is it's tough yardage now. I'm going to have to hit a solid hybrid, I think. So if we aim there, 
right in the middle, solid hybrid, and it should be perfect. Come on, be good. It was certainly solid. Oh, it's too solid. I've flown at 230. That was a monster hybrid for me. I mean, that's a three iron hybrid as well. Okay, um, right, we got 14 yards now back. Slightly uphill, we are in the fringe or the fairway. Do I putt this or do I chip it? That's the question. Gonna play about 60, call it 64 feet as a feel. I might putt this because I generally chip these, but I'm gonna putt it. We'll go 64 feet as a feel. It is gonna kick right through the fringe. Let's go there and we'll club down into putting mode. 64 feet, come on. Did I hit it? Yes, I did. Sit, sit. Oh, of course, just outside the gimme. I'd say it wasn't bad for speed. Wasn't bad at all. Pretty much dead straight. Lovely. Okay, 15th hole, chopping it round, but we are getting it round, you know, for the way we've hit it, it's actually not horrendous. Um, if we can finish with a few birdies, I'll be quite happy. Oh, Joe, work out. Sit, don't go in that bunker. All right, it's rough, which isn't the worst. 176, so it's about 184, so it's a tough yardage for me. Um, I'm just gonna try and nuke a seven iron. Probably not the right play the way I'm swinging it, but we shall see. Healed it. Go. It's not the worst. It'll play. It's actually, we've got a birdie putt. Oh, don't do that. Come on. All right, 20 feet. It's 26 feet. Let's get a rough position there for the putter. 26 feet. I don't think it's going to break that much. That looks pretty good. I mean, this is actually a chance. Oh. It was just too much break. I mean, that was a good putt. It was such a good putt. Uh, all right, 16th hole, par three, 155. Look at this bunker. I mean, could they have tucked that flag anymore? I'm gonna say no. Let's hit a nine iron because I know nine iron, there's no way I can reach that bunker. Famous last words. So this should be on the green. It just depends how short it's gonna be. I'll play a little bit of a draw. Oh, I've pulled it. Damn it. Started it too straight. Let's have a look at this part. Okay, it's not horrendous. I'll, at least I can actually putt it. I thought I might have to chip it. Look at that, it goes green to thick rough. So, looking at this, 27 feet, pretty flat. Let's just aim, let's aim there. 28 feet as a field. Actually, it might even not be that much. Let's go there, 28 feet, come on. Have I hit it? Ah, oh, pulled it a little bit and it was too much break. Okay, not bad speed. On to the 17th, let's try and finish birdie birdie. 10 under would be nice. The way I've been playing, 10 under's pretty good. Okay, dual fairway. How far is it to the hole? 340, I'm not reaching that, but I can try and get it somewhere near the green. Oh, there's no way that's fading like that. I thought that was a draw, to be honest. I must have healed that bad because my club path was into out. My horizontal launch angle was left. So I must have hit that way out the heel to gear it right. Cause I thought that was gonna be, I mean the spins kicked up. So that's more than likely what happened. Uh, 72, it's gonna come out left. 
this is a tough shot now. Um, try and land it there, 65 out of the sand. Now it's gonna be a fairway bunker, so it's 5%. So it's gonna be about 70 to 71 yards. Um, I will use a lob wedge because I kind of need, I need the spin and I need the height. So 71. Oh, sit. Look at this. Come on, let's go. Let's go, that's a birdie. On to the 18th, par five, okay. Could actually shoot, but the way I've hit it, a pretty good score, let's be honest. All right, 18th hole, par five. Let's just try and lace one up there. It's a long hole. I mean, realistically, the way I'm hitting, it's gonna be a three shot hole anyway, so I may as well give this an absolute rip. Oh, jeez. Oh, Joe. Cart path, come on. All right, what's that left me? <laughs> you, just, you just know when your game's not in shape. All right, it's a tiny sliver of fairway to the left. Um, that's gonna be, oh, it's deep rough. Okay, I thought I was in the rough, but this is deep rough. So, haven't really left myself in a good position here. I think it could just be a layup through there, a little punch, and then leave myself, what's that? 170 in to a tucked pin. What's to the left? 168. To carry that, I mean, it's not gonna be doable out of this rough. It's too much risk. So I think if we just go through these trees, that's already risky enough, and then try and leave myself a, uh, eight iron in. That's probably the, the best play. Okay, that was the play. We're shorter than, than I thought we would be, 133, but we're uphill five, so 139, slightly into the wind. It's tough yardage now. It's gonna have to be a nine iron, try and use that backstop. Oh, just completely bailed. That was horrible. Just shows you the state, the state my swing's in at the moment. Okay, 17 yards, dead downhill. Let's try and land this in the rough. Let's try and land it about eight yards, seven yards. Don't need to hit it that far because it's dead downhill and it's out the rough, so there's gonna be no spin. Let's try and land this seven yards. Oh, look at that, seven yards, exactly. Sit. Okay, I, I, I mean, I, I hit it exactly as far as I wanted to, so you can't be too upset. Let's uh, roll this one in then for a, a par. Up the hill, six feet. Lovely. Okay, that is a bogey free card. Six under the front nine, three under back nine, nine under overall. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It, like I said, if you do want to see the pro rounds, let me know. I, I am thinking about live streaming these things just because to edit this takes quite a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know, any comments or questions, let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.